And we'd like to get back to that breaking news. This is that live procession for Officer Nicholas Vela, who died earlier this evening after his Huntington Beach helicopter crashed in the Newport Beach waters. Now, there were two pilots aboard that aircraft, and Vela was being, or is currently being taken from the hospital in Santa Ana to the coroner's office in Orange County. You can see, Rachel, this procession is now beginning. Yeah, Chris, Officer Vela was 44 years old, a 14-year veteran with the Huntington Beach and a number of years with the Laguna Beach Police Department before that. Right now, the NTSB is investigating this crash. The cause is still unclear tonight. We do want to let you know another officer, 16-year veteran, is in stable condition tonight. Yeah, and, uh, you know, seeing the picture on the right-hand screen puts yeah. a face to that name. And, you know, 44 years old, that's still so young, and, you know, 14 years with the department. And during that press conference, we learned that he was actually with Laguna Beach before that mm -hmm. um, and just want to let you know what you're looking at right now on the lower left hand side of your screen. That's a live picture from Sky 2 that is monitoring that procession again from the hospital to the coroner's office and um, you know people in this community along this route. It's got to be very emotional just to hear the sirens and the and the lights and the people. I mean just it touches us and strangers in just a horrific way to 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 pass, you exactly. know, it's hard. Yeah, that procession going on right now. Of course, a huge presence of the law enforcement community, but as Chris said, also a large presence uh, by the community. They all touched uh, by the officer's death. We do know uh, from the Huntington Beach Police Department's police chief that the two officers on board that chopper were on their way to respond to a domestic disturbance call in Newport Beach. And that is because the Huntington Beach Police Department chopper, their air units, uh, provide support for the cities of Newport Beach as well as Costa Mesa. Yeah, and right now, um, this procession that we see, I just looked it up, and it's about a five-minute drive um, from the hospital to the Orange County Coroner's Office, so, you know, n not too far at all, and, you know, it is, you know, a three-day week, and a lot of people have yeah. some time off, and it's, you know, it's heartbreaking for this community, but also his colleagues, you know, his, the brothers and sisters that he works with all the time, and, you know, it's, it's definitely hard to see, and you, you feel for them and, and their emotions. I mean, even listening to the police yeah. chief earlier, his voice and, you know, having to be a leader and having to be strong, but still struggling to, to get the words out. How can it not affect him, oh my right, goodness, the yeah. human being? And we do know that Officer Vela has a wife and a child as well, mm. so cannot even imagine what they are going through tonight, um, as well as the department. We saw uh, the faces of those officers who were on scene of that crash, obviously devastated and in such pain right now. Um, again, a live look at the procession from the hospital Officer Vela was at on the way to the coroner's office right now. Yeah, and what's amazing is after that crash happened, you know, there were a lot of witnesses in that area. It's a holiday weekend, so a lot of people were out and about. Beautiful mm -hmm. night, the sunset was great. You know, people enjoying friends and family, and we saw witnesses get into the water, go straight to that aircraft, which mm -hmm. thankfully was at the shore. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they were able to um, help those, those two pilots out. And, you know, we did see the other pilot, the one who's been there for 16 years, we saw him walk you know, to um, the ambulance and, and, and get in there. And it's just, you can only imagine, you know, what he's going through yeah. and what he experienced. And, you know, it's... Fortunately, he survived, but of right. course, sadly, Officer Vela did not. Uh, the surviving officer, like you said, Chris, is a 16-year veteran mm -hmm. of the department. Um, these officers, as well as the other officers who are pilots in their air unit, are all very experienced. We do know the Huntington Beach Police Department has three of these choppers. Um, the one that went down, they call HB1. And of course, the wreckage is still at the scene, and the NTSB is just beginning their investigation as to what caused the chopper to be disabled and eventually crash into the water. And it was a, a disturbance, right? That was the original call? Yes, they were what, just, uh, responding to a disturbance call in Newport Beach. Which is interesting because, you know, it just talks a little bit about how much the air support is such a big mm -hmm. part of, of obviously LAPD, LASD, we have a lot, but um, in this area in particular, Huntington areas nearby, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of calls out there because, you know, you can get a all these officers on the ground may have been in contact with these officers up in the air at some point in their career, you know, and that makes it a little bit more 
hits closer to home. You know. Yeah, the uh, air unit, air supply uh, unit provides support to various cities in Orange County. So, like Chris is saying, a tight knit community, a tight knit law enforcement community, uh, can't even imagine how many officers know these officers who are involved or were involved in this crash tonight. Yeah, it's. I mean, just you could see this right here. This for lack of better words, a beautiful image of all the love yeah. and support of, of, you know, the, the people that are out there to, to keep us safe. And, you know, that's what they're elected to do, knowing it can be a dangerous job. And, you know, we still don't know what caused the helicopter right. to go into the water. You know, it could take some time, but the fact that NTSB will be out here investigating, who knows how long that will take. And, and earlier, Rachel, we've been anchoring all, all day, all night. And, and in Miami, a similar situation that was caught on camera, a helicopter went into the water in Miami Beach, barely missing the people. Uh, that's another investigation, what caused that helicopter to go down. Because we don't always hear about helicopter crashes like this, let alone trained, experienced police officers who, who do this for a job and career. Yeah, and fortunately, uh, the people who were down at that beach in Miami were not hurt. Surprisingly, Surprisingly as well, yes. And the same in this packed. situation because, I mean, it was right in that marina area. Exactly. Um, but again, sadly, Officer Vela did not survive his injuries. And right now we're looking at that live procession and, you know, it's 1123 at night on a holiday weekend. Obviously, Orange County a little quiet and it allows them to, to pay their respects. And I can only imagine the emotion and maybe the conversation or the silence that's going on inside these vehicles as they make this way, because this is definitely something that no one wants to do. But yeah. Chris, as you mentioned earlier, you looked it up, uh, the distance from the hospital to the coroner's office is only about five minutes. So we believe they should almost be there a very short distance. But as you can imagine, they're probably, you know, just taking their time. So everyone lined lined up along those streets the law enforcement community uh, uh, people residents of this community can just pay their respects as he is being moved through the streets and taken to the coroner's office allowing everyone to pay their respects and tribute to officer vela yeah just so hard to watch this but i hope when you know loved ones and family friends do by chance see this video they sh they could see the love and support behind it and and know they're not alone yeah. you know um, this is something that have, has affected them and unfortunately we've seen so many tragedies like this play out you know time and time again um, but i mean just look at this right here mm -hmm. um, that's a pretty long procession and you know it's that's definitely making an impact for all of those people and you know, just a reminder, hug your loved ones a little tighter because you never know. I mean, some people have very dangerous jobs. Yeah. You know, it could be construction. It could be law enforcement. Exactly. It could be a, a news reporter. Like, you never know what could happen at any time, especially when you're out in the streets working. I mean, look at that. Yeah. That There's, is amazing. You were talking about just a moment ago, just all those lights. It, it's really breathtaking. Um, it, it just kind of makes you... Gives you chills yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just a beautiful... Uh, a solemn tribute to Officer Vela and his sacrifice working tonight, responding to that call, disturbance call in Newport Beach. Um, look at all those units with their lights and sirens on, uh, going along this Officer Vela's body to the coroner's office. Is going out to Officer Vela's family, uh, the citizens of Huntington Beach and Greater Orange of the sacrifice that our police officers make. Yeah, just, it's, I mean, yeah, definitely hard to. At first, we didn't know, mm -hmm. you know, what these officers, we knew that they were taken to the hospital, but when you actually hear the words that, you know, somebody's life was taken and that Officer Nicholas Villa was the one who passed away, that definitely, it, it changes the perspective of things and just shows just how tragic yeah. this whole situation is. And, yeah. you know, when it, we first heard about the charge, um, just offset mm -hmm. that we were hoping that. So when we do hear that uh, died, it, it was just really heartbreaking. And at eight o'clock, the Huntington Beach police chief 
along with the mayor, uh, gave that news conference, and the police chief was so shaken up. Um, you can just see the emotion and made us all very emotional out here just listening to how this has affected, how this loss has affected him personally and, of course, his department. Um, you can just see all the officers were very shaken up, their faces, their body language. Um, just a very sad night for this community. Yeah, and they should be getting pretty close to the Orange County Coroner's Office at this point. Um, obviously taking the time to, to pay their respect to the fallen officer. And, you know, we talked about family and friends, but also the, the gentleman, the, the pilot who, who survived, he is going to be going through some, some hard times and, you know, love and support and space. And I'm sure is, is going to be very important for him in, in the days and probably weeks to come and lifetime, you know, yeah. it's hard. Of course, he'll be getting a lot of support uh, from his uh, brothers and sisters in law enforcement and the greater community. Um, yeah, just looking at this live procession uh, is truly uh, is a solemn moment, a very sad moment. Um, just realizing that this officer was just doing his job tonight, um, unexpectedly crashed in the waters in Newport Beach and lost his life. Yeah. It, you know, watching this and seeing just how quickly this procession was put together mm -hmm. um, was def was shocking to me. You know, surprisingly, you know, uh, they definitely are very organized there and they're able to to get that out there. And, you know, that's very respectable yeah. to see considering, you know, just what, five hours ago yeah. this and happened. That's not very long ago at all. And we certainly appreciate the Huntington Beach Police Department putting out his picture, giving us a face right. to the name we were saying all night. We certainly appreciate that. And, and if we could pull that picture yeah, up again, please. just to take another look. Officer Vela is in that white van that you see right there, uh, making his way from Santa Ana Hospital to the Orange County Coroner's Office. Um, the coroner will do likely an autopsy and, and figure out the official cause of death. And then from there, the family yeah. will decide what to do and, you know. Yeah. A very young officer. He has 44 um, only. Yeah, only 44 years how old. old. Do you know how old his kid was? Um, I don't. I don't know exactly, That's but awful. I, I think I heard he had a young daughter. He has a young daughter, so um, very heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Just 44 years old, but an officer with a lot of experience here at the Huntington Beach uh, Police Department. Before that, at the Laguna Beach Police Department as well, um, serving his community. And I remember uh, Chief Parat uh, speaking very highly of this officer that he served with integrity and honor. Um, so certainly a huge loss for that department and the greater community, the Orange County community, and the rest of us certainly grieving and mourning his loss tonight. And it's a pretty prestigious p position. I mean, the fact that there's only four officers with Huntington Beach Police, I mean, that's a, that's a, I mean, talk about tight knit, you can't get much tight knit than that. And, you know, like I mentioned, all the other officers and sergeants and, and people that, you know, these pilots spoke to yep. in the air because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a large department. You sure. don't always run across different people because mm -hmm. hours and times and schedules are different. But the fact that there's only four officers, pilots, it, it, it shows that he, they most likely were in contact with other people. And, you know, our pilots here, you know, in, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. the ones that fly for different media, KCAL 9, CBS 2, like, I've heard nothing but great things about them. So, like, exactly. that flying community, I'm not a part of, but I've only heard from, like, the photographers here just how cool they are with each other and how much they love and respect each other. So yeah, those four officers who are pilots uh, for the Huntington Beach Air Support Unit, providing support for more than just Huntington Beach, but other Orange County communities as well. So everyone, I'm mourning this loss. And I'm sure this officer has touched so many lives in the years that he has served in law enforcement. Um, but we cannot express enough how uh, we want to send our condolences to his wife and child and his department. And they should be making it pretty close there. Can you tell what that what those cross streets are? That's hard to tell. Let's see if we have the the, the map tracker in, in the in our helicopter. Yeah. The, well, it certainly looks like they are taking surface streets, so uh, going slowly, taking their time. As I mentioned earlier, I think they want to take their time and give everyone a chance to line the streets and pay their respects. And ultimately, when they do get to the coroner's office, they will be standing, saluting uh, the officer as his body is taken into the coroner's office. Just yeah. 
just a, a beautiful image that we want to leave you with. But again, this is a procession for 44-year-old officer Nicholas Vela, who passed away in the Newport Beach area. Um, his helicopter went down in the water. We know two people were aboard. One person made it out um, in critical in with critical injuries. We did see that pilot make his way to the hospital. But looking at this uh, to wrap up, Rachel, a beautiful sight, a show of love and support. And, you know, hopefully this family and loved ones will be OK. Yes, we leave you with this beautiful sight and tribute to Officer Nicholas Vela.